Swift and uh, Jade Day is here. Good morning, Sam. Very good to see you. Good to see you again. We met yesterday. Yeah, we did. Uh, Wednesdays. Wednesdays, are go- it's, it's interesting, I think, how that's going to go because uh, the, the We Don't Know show mm. is no longer on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. That's on a Wednesday, but only every other week. So if we meet up on a Wednesday to plan this show or talk about another show, we're sort of alternatively on the radio or drinking coffee. Which is what we Why always, can't we do both? Well, why can't we do both? <laughs> yes, that's what I want to know. That is the big question. Answers, please, on an SAE <laughs> envelope to me. <laughs> OK, or you could... Well, you, you, since you're here, Jota, you can actually cope with the phone, can't you? Mm-hmm. 01392 433 Yep. Because um, the storyteller seems to be doing just that. He's in France somewhere. Is he? He, he is. Southern France? Northern France? Well, I'm not quite sure. Ah, right. I think it's somewhere south. Mm-hmm. If you find him on Facebook, um, you you ca- you do get photographs com- coming up, so some people who know France ah, will, right. will make a guess where he is. But he's he's doing... Um, I think he's talking to his phone, because ju- it is on YouTube with video, mm. but mm. the video is either his fingers clutching the phone <laughs> across the lens... Ah, right. ..or else trees... Well, people could could look at that. Cartwheels Collective, mm. they search for on on YouTube, and um, so would that would that meet your criteria? So if, we could do our whole show on a Wednesday. Yeah. Yes, and put it on YouTube. Yep. And then <laughs> come and play it down here. Well, yeah. We could do the, we and could, we go off and have a cup of coffee. Brilliant. Well, well we could what? do we, we could do the links. <laughs> yes, we could do. What about yes. the music? Yes. How many phones can we have working at the same time? <laughs> this is... Oh, God, this is fantasy for you. <laughs> well... Well, you can line them all up. One can operate the X. <laughs> you have one coming in and has a remote and operates ten of them. No problem. Because you're, you're one, you've now switched to an Apple phone. I think I have to mention what phone you've yep. got. Uh, other phones are available. Mm-hmm. And it's got a microphone app. Yes. So how does that work? It sort of believes it's a microphone. Um, well, which it, it, is, it is a microphone, isn't it, anyway? Yes, it's, what it is, is I have hearing aids, and it's a, an app which has a, a microphone, you use the microphone which is inside your phone, but it's only directly when where you put the phone. So if I was put my phone in Timbuktu and try right. to record you, it wouldn't because it's too far away anyway. But uh, you've got to be right next to the presenter or whoever. Ah. So if I'm in a meeting somewhere yeah. and I can't hear the guy, the guy's too soft yeah. or, or the person's too soft, I can put my phone right underneath his nose and I can hear it. That's what that's for. And can, can you adjust the microphone as well? Can you sort of do de-echoing or... I can make it... Uh, I can't make it louder or softer, but I can make my earphones, my little headphones, well, my hearing aids, louder and softer oh, within right. the, within so the thing. So it's a multi, multi-app. Right. And also, if I'm getting bored of your show, I can listen to some other radio without oh. even knowing it. Oh, I see. <laughs> OK. So these, these technology today, this is the right way of using the technology, I think. Right. It's uh, helping somebody. Right. So thinking now as a, as a radio producer... Mm-hmm. I am one of those. You I'm are one of qualified. Those. <laughs> OK. So a couple of things. Mm-hmm. Does, it, does it seem slightly wrong to you that the content is not exclusive to the show it's first broadcast on? So if it's just uploaded on YouTube mm-hmm. and we can play it from YouTube, mm-hmm. but our listeners can find it on YouTube as well. Yes. So there's, there's no real reason why they would wait for... I suppose show. if it's exclusive and you do it in the show mm. and then you put it up on YouTube, yeah. then um, that is exclusive. And uh, so mostly, long term, that's what you would expect. Mm-hmm. That's how radio has been, would you say? Well, at the moment, you see, it's not like the good old days where you didn't have that technology. All you did, you, you did a programme in the studio with your wind-up radios <laughs> and that's it you couldn't you could record it but uh, you couldn't find it on the internet 
at all because Not the internet it wasn't there. No. So therefore, it's the the purpose of trying to get a program off is now vast. You can get it anywhere. So people put their programs up like I did on my last show um, and that's the technology I'm not used to you know having instant show straight after the show right but and that would be on Spreaker that was mm-hmm. the Access All Aerials mm-hmm. can, people can find that it's still there it's still there I still listen to it yes and I wonder who this guy is <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes so well he's one of your <laughs> many personas well the, <laughs> yes yeah, one of the many is. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. But anyway, it's it's, uh, it's a good way to listen to yourself and criticise yourself, which is good. Yes. So that technology is pretty good. Yeah. Um, but in the olden days, I used to do it on the wind-up radio department and still listen to myself in the car. So it's um, it's a good way to, to actually know if you're doing the right thing or saying the right thing or your voice sounds good. So if if the storyteller was in the studio, Mm -hmm. it would be exclusive to Phonic FM and it would happen immediately at that time. Yes, because there's, well, you can record it because you you can get it off the internet as it goes on. Yeah. But you couldn't uh, download it straight away. No. So if you heard something on the show and said, that's good, I need to, I'd like to have a copy of that. Phonic FM doesn't allow that bit Stri- not directly. exactly mm. no but basically JD the storyteller is sitting somewhere in France it looks very nice spot where, where he is <laughs> are you getting jealous of this well I just think he's <laughs> do you want to go and do your show in I, southern France I think he's doing something right <laughs> <laughs> oh, right okay <laughs> I know he's going to be back, hmm. and he will be in this... But you do, you do the right things when you go to the shows, yeah. and you phone in. Yes. That is live, and it's you on the spot. Yes. So you're giving the listener the on-the-spot reporting reporter, which is good. Yeah, but there may be actual news there, you see. Hmm. Um, yeah. If we go to BET or Learning hmm. Technologies or Lock hmm. Minds, hmm. and we phone back on the first day, fairly mm-hmm. near the beginning... Yeah. Um, well, it gives a flavour. There, there may be actual news, but I, I think mm. if you if you're going to tell the story of the the song of Roland, mm. which is a known story, it's been told many times over the last mm-hmm. thousand years or so. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not news exactly, is it? I mean, that, well, the, the, it's well, a new his, version of it. Well, I his suppose. his show isn't really news or anything like that. It's just that's a, I will call a fantasy world. Well, in a it way, maybe it may be very subtly. Uh, referring to yes, current like events. Ma- using your imagination, should we say? <laughs> yes. In in a in a different yes. world. Yes. Yes. It's it's current. I'm not I'm not knocking it. I'm just mm. I'm just saying that um, there's there's different standards by which you uh, d- judge the urgency mm-hmm. of, of content and what on how you broadcast it. He does it very well. I must admit, you can get really into what he's saying. And imagine what's happening, because yes. you, you you're not you're not seeing something. You're actually hearing something, which is much more magical than watching something. Yes, Josie. The other thing I'd like to ask you about: when you've been playing something from YouTube or an MP3 mm. on a computer or anything like that that you mix in with the, mm-hmm. with the how, how do you find the presentation, the sort of apps you have to work with, or the screen software? Well, I, I well it depends if I'm watching your stuff. Uh, anything which you put up then that's that's i know is is um presentational wise but if it's a piece of music and thing you listen to it and that's it <laughs> walk away from it uh, yeah I'm, re- I'm really getting at the um say from youtube because mm. i find it quite hard to know when it's going to end to mm. to see how many seconds are left or minutes are left or whatever all oh, right the, what are those things so that the interface Right, of, of how long it is and how long you've got left. Yeah. Yes. It is difficult, that, in in the way. But there are, there are ways of getting around to it, but I won't announce it right here. Oh, OK. <laughs> in case you get it wrong. But, you know, it's um, it's how how our um, system is here, which you set up to to actually accommodate that. Right. Yeah, so... If so you, it could if, be... It could be well, either we need a system mm. here, mm. or maybe YouTube or whoever it is could have a, a sort of alternative interface for radio. Mm. Do you think they would do such a thing? 
Well, I, I don't know so whether whether they allow radio to do that. 100%, should you say? Well... May, maybe 20%, depending on what your well, work I don't, I don't see why not. Mm. I mean, we've been doing it for a while now. Mm. We'd, just, we'd sort of well, if it, work you, on the assumption... I suppose if you, you, if you put a film up, that's your copyright, mm. isn't it? So you're, you're entitled to do that. But if you're doing somebody else's work, which has got a copyright on it, then it's a little bit different, I think. Well, y- yeah, but it, it's covered by PRS, isn't it? Mm. I, I think if it's on YouTube, we can play it. I-